大家好，欢迎来到桃溪专情的镇国际工作室举办的线上讲座。我是大家的主持人及翻译李芷君。桃溪专国际教育目前上线了一系列国际大师班视频课程，还将邀请国内外艺术家定期举办艺术讲座，请大家持续关注。大家听得清我说话吗？清楚的话，请在公屏上扣一。因为线上讲座用的是跨国网络。所以可能会出现信号不稳定的情况，请大家见谅。讲座过程中，如何如果有任何问题，也可以打在评论区里，我们的工作人员会为大家解答。一切正常的话，我们的讲座就正式开始了。今晚参与讲座分享的艺术家是来自加拿大的英籍艺术家 Philip Reed。本期讲座的主题是“畅游无意识国度”。Philip 将具体阐述无意识领域在他的作品创作和设计过程中的重要性。同时 ，Philip Reed 的线上课程《词上丹青：东西方色彩的交织》已经上架售卖，相关课程链接请大家在公屏查看。Welcome to the online lecture held by Tao Si Chuan Art Center. Today, we're very honored to have Philip Reed as our lecturer. The title of today's lecture is "In the Realm of the Unconscious." We also have invited him to film this masterclass series called "Ceramic Porcelain Painting." You can find it on sale today on our platform. Please do check our website if you have an interest. Now let's welcome Philip Reed to have his speech. Welcome. Thank you.、Uh... Lisa, for that、uh, very kind introduction.、Uh, good evening and good morning, and thank you for joining me for this、uh, for my PowerPoint uh, presentation. Um, I've titled this presentation as、uh, "In the Realm of the Unconscious: The Complex Joy of Ceramic Painting."、Um, so, for me, creativity and painting is a complex process. It involves many aspects of technique. Spirit, philosophy, poetry, and、uh, skill sets.、Uh, our unconscious mind is an important function for this process, since it deals with elements of emotion, feelings, and spirit that goes beyond our conscious thoughts of materials and techniques. The creative process is a joyful process that lifts the heart and minds of artists and viewers. In this、uh, presentation, I will discuss my process. And the complex issues, complex issues of concept, materials, and technique.、Uh, these three paintings show different of my three different approaches to the path of creativity. On the left, blue spiral, is abstract color fields, but is based on my observation of lotus ponds. Meander is inspired by a location in Canada called Aurora Gorge, which is said to have a strong spiritual presence. And raindrops on the right. Is from my observations of rain falling on the surface of a small lake. 嗯、uh, ，大家早上好，晚上好，感谢大家收听今晚的讲座。嗯、uh, ，主题呢，刚才已经提到了，就是畅游无意识国度。嗯、uh, ，我想说的是，创作是一个复杂的过程，它涵盖了许多种不同技法的使用，包括了风。丰沛的精神世界、哲学与诗意的思考，在这一过程中，无意识起了至关重要的作用。因为无意识掌管了物质与逻辑世界之下潜藏的情绪、情感与精神。同时，创作过程是令人愉悦的，不论是创作者还是观赏者，都能从中感受到心灵和思想的洗涤。本期讲座中。我将与大家分享我的创作过程与这其中观念、材料和技法的复杂性。这三幅图展示的是几种不同的创作途径。最左边的这幅蓝色螺旋是一幅抽象的色域绘画，它在现实中的原型是一池莲花。中间的这幅蜿蜒，灵感来源于加拿大的一个名叫伊罗拉伊劳拉山谷的地方。据说这里有很强的神圣显灵现象。右边的这幅雨滴来自于
。某一天，我看到一湾小湖被雨滴皱了湖面。Education and modes of learning are two different types, and in, but important processes of gathering information about a wide variety of understandings and approaches to our creative process. I distinguish between modes of learning、um, from education, since they involve learning outside of the academic institutions and universities, but are a great contributor to our knowledge. My two most important modes of learning have been Chinese brush painting with Professor Zhu Jianshan from the Central Academy of Art and Design in Beijing, and with Professor Yu、uh, Jilu、uh, from the Jingdezhen Ceramic University in Jingdezhen. Ah, a person's education background and learning model in a large degree determine how we gather different views. 及众家之所长，以丰富自己的创作手法的学习模式与教育背景不同，因为它还包括了我们在学习机学术机构之外的学习与成长。但这部分学识的积累对我们知识体系的构建极为重要。对我影响最深的两段学习经验，分别是向北京中央美院的朱俊山教授学习中国毛笔画。以及向景德镇陶瓷大学的于子乐教授学习瓷版画的经验。Skill sets are the mechanisms of technique, such as the use of brushes and variety of materials. These are the physical attributes that we learn uh, to uh, to manage during our creative process. These are important to establish a base of base of knowledge that will assist in the process of creativity. These are skills and experiences that can be learned by anybody and everybody through training and repetition. But concepts such as the emerging of nature with the human body have a deeper process of meaning beyond technique and materials. This painting. And、um, I would like to say that all the paintings that I show in my、uh, presentation today are all high-temperature ceramic porcelain.、Uh, this painting shows my joy of combining the vine brush painting, a brush painting, with the drawing of the reclining figure behind. It speaks of our relationship with nature in a subtle poetic way.、Uh. 技能组合指的是对不同技法的融会贯通，比如对笔刷和其他多种材料的运用。建立一套完整的知识体系来支撑创作活动是非常有必要的。通过不断反复的强化训练，每一个人都能掌握这些技能并运用自如。但有一些观念，比如人和自然的融合，也就是天人合一。是一种超越了技法和材料的更深层、更深层层次的感悟与理解。呃，我想要，呃，跟大家说一下，我的展示，呃，我今晚的讲座当中所有的画作都是釉上彩，在高温下烧制。嗯、呃，这幅画作结合了毛笔绘制的缠绵交错的藤蔓。和背景中若隐若现的斜倚着的人形，画中浮动着淡淡的喜悦，以一种细致入微的诗意的方式，讲述着人与自然的关系。Buddhism, Taoism, etc., artistic, specific artists, cultural, travel, friends, etc.、Uh, here are three of my more important influences: of Monet, Badashanran, and Joseph William Turner. Other influences include Amy Silman, Schumann, Salvador Dali. Chi Barsher, John Sel Cotman, and Andrew Weil. 
Influence does not mean to imitate, but the influences can initiate, initiate further thought and ideas. 我的艺术风格受到了多方面的影响，包括学院派心理学、佛教、道教等宗教学说、艺术家流派、各种文化常识、旅途中的见闻、朋友的经历等等。这三位艺术家对我的影响最为深远，他们是克劳德·莫奈、约八大山人、约瑟夫·威廉·特纳。他们的创作技法和构图给我带来了很大的启发。对我艺术风格的形成产生影响的其他艺术家，还包括艾米希尔斯、萨尔瓦多·达利、齐白石、约翰·塞尔科特曼以及安德鲁·怀斯。这里我所说的影响，指的并不是风格的模仿，而是指他们的作品引发我思考，激发了我的灵感。For me, the techniques are the bones of the creative process. They are the physical attributes to painting, but the spirit is the heart, emotion, breath, and feelings that, as artists, we can、uh, project in through our brushwork. Chi and spirit are the most difficult elements of this process to describe. But I can suggest that they are the most important. Without chi and spirit, the composition can appear static and motionless. The creative process must contain a life force that goes beyond the materials and techniques. Questions like how do you paint air, poetry, how do you paint music, emotion, how do you paint the sensations beyond our physical body? The non-physical part of the person is the center of our emotions and of our soul. All artists have their own process to channel the chi. I work my chi by setting the environment within my studio to minimize distractions. I use music to elevate my mind to another spiritual dimension, and I like to use the sense of incense. To alter my being, to transcend my physical body, reading poetry, physical philosophy, and theory. Waterfall, waterfalls touch many senses of our beings: movement of water, falling mist, sound, smell, and the thunder beneath our feet. Our feet. Um, if we say that chi is the basis for creating the process. 那么，精神与灵魂就是创作的心、情绪、呼吸和情感。气以及灵魂是创作过程中最难用语言阐述的元素，但我认为它们甚至可以说是创作中最重要的元素。如果没有了气和灵魂，一幅作品可能看上去就会是死气沉沉的。创作过程必须充盈着一种超越任何物质和技法的生命力。用什么技巧才能描绘空气、诗歌、音乐与情绪呢？用什么手法才能刻画超越肉体的无法捉摸的感知呢？一个人非实体的部分才寄居着情感与灵魂的核心。所有的艺术家都能以各自的方式感知到气的存在。我感知气的方式有很多，比如整理工作室的环境，以减少干扰；听音乐。可以将我的思绪引导至另一个次元，焚香可以使我的精神超脱于肉体的存在，阅读诗歌、哲学和各种理论学说可以丰富我的思想。嗯，在这里我想为大家翻译一下这两幅作品的名字。左边这幅画的名字是《莲池》，右边这幅画的名字我非常喜欢。嗯，我将它翻译成了“于无声处听惊雷”。瀑布能够触发身体的多重感知，水流一泻千里的动感，山谷里升腾起的氤氲缭绕的雾气，轰隆作响的蓬勃气势，空气中负氧离子的清新，还有那如轰雷坠地的瀑生满耳。
Oh, thank you, Lisa. I, I'm sorry, but well, I just would like to add one small thing: is that yes. the um, the skill sets are can be learned, but mm -hmm. the chi and the spirit of the process is an is an experience um, motion and part of the process. It's n you can't be taught how to do it. It's something which comes from within uh, your own being. Thank you. Uh, 在这里呢, 就, uh, 为我们 讲述, uh, 他刚才说的是, 他想说, 气法这些东西呢, 是可以学习的, 但是气和精神呢, 是只能通过个人的经验, 感受到的, 它是一种, uh, 情感的感知, 是由内而外, 发散出来的, In Western art, we study the fundamentals of design and creativity. Most prominent of these are color theory, red, blue, and yellow as the primary colors, linear perspective, balance, which we call symmetry, texture, and golden means, often referred to as rule of thirds. In addition, we are taught how to see uh, atmospheric perspective, single point of focus, and view of the world of nature from the ground level as we are standing. In Chinese painting, the fundamentals are different, such as multiple focal points, contrast and contradiction of color and value, minimum, minimal use of perspective, either linear or atmospheric, empty space is not negative space, and black is a primary color. However, many artists we incorporate varieties of fundamentals into our, our style of work. I combine both the Western and Eastern fundamentals into a natural fusion of design and composition. In the Western art, 平衡与对称法则、纹理、黄金分割、三分法 不管是线性还是空气透视，绘画不留白以及墨分五色这种以墨为主色的观念。尽管尽管如此，大部分艺术家会吸纳不同的绘画基础，形成自成一派的艺术风格。我的创作风格结合了西方与东方的艺术基础
on a summer lake in England. And on the right is the Winter Haven, a cool um, composition uh, observed in um, New York City on the Hudson River uh, during the midwinter. Thank you. Um, 绘画风格各有千秋，艺术家们在各自的艺术生涯中也并非要拘泥于一种特定的艺术风格。我喜欢描绘风景，包括自然界的万千风貌：水乡泽国、山林莽原、水、天空、山川、瀑布、丛林、飞禽走兽、昆虫，乃至建筑。这三幅瓷版画创作于世界的各个角落。这三幅作品运用了截然不同的笔刷上色手法，复刻出我当时身心感受到的情绪、氛围与美感。通常，我会根据自身对风景的观察和感受，选择相适应的绘画风格和创作手法。如果我所学的绘画知识达不到我想要的艺术表现力，那么我会自创一种能够满足我要求的技法。左边的这幅是我在香港的海上看到的日落，呃，黄昏，呃，名叫这幅作品的名字叫做《无声沉落》。第二幅呢是我在英格兰，呃，的哈德逊湖，哦不对，第三的湖一个湖湖上看到的。夏天的日落，而第三幅，第二幅名字叫做《夏日湖畔》。第三幅呢，是我在美国的哈德逊湖畔，嗯、呃，冬天正值寒冬，观察到的一幅景象，名为《冬日避风港》。Abstract is a style of painting that I use to combine the human body into the abstract compositions of color fields and symbols. These are poetic paintings that I have created、uh, a symbolic narrative story. The narratives of these two paintings are about the balance of the feminine and masculine in all human beings. Curiosity with Guan Yin represents the fem feminine. Poem of Alexander. Represents the masculine. 在创作人物抽象画时，我通常会将人体与抽象的色域绘画以及符号象征结合在一起。这两幅画中，我用诗意的笔触书写了两个具有象征意义的故事。这两幅画讲述的是所有人类个体中阴与阳的平衡。左边的这幅名为《好奇心》。画中的观音象征了女性气质，而右边的这幅献给亚历山大的诗中，亚历山大大帝的形象代表了男性气质。Color field abstract paintings with various symbols and images. These paintings tend to be more intuitive than my Process, in that I will not have an initial concept or idea, but will start with layers of color fields, and allow the composition to develop beyond my conscious mind. The symbols and images are layered into the composition as it develops, with no perceived, preconceived notion or thought. Blue spiral is symbolic of creativity and the universe. Time and space speaks of the. Infinite unconscious、uh, universe beyond our limited conscious experience, since time and space are human constructs. Um, 色域抽象画融合了多种象征符号和图像。这类画作的绘制通常更加依赖直觉。创作之初，我不带有任何固定观念，而是从渲染不同层色域层次开始。让画作自然地超越意识领域，这些符号与图像的叠加是在创作过程中逐步完成的。这些步骤水到渠成，没有经过任何事前的构思或设计
《蓝色螺旋》这幅图象征着创造性和宇宙，《时间与空间》这幅作品预示着，在我们极为有限的能以意识感知的体验之外，是浩瀚无垠的无意识宇宙，因为时间与空间不过是人类所加的限制。Each artist has their own way for the creative process, and they're not always followed in this, the same exact order. For me, my process、um, has these steps. First, I will think of a concept, a theme, or an idea. Second, I will select the materials and skill set based on on the materials available. Third. I will. I use several steps <clears throat> to complete the painting, including layers of color fields, multiple images, apply and erase images and color fields, etc. These actions will be repeated again and again, and can include as many as twenty different layers or more. <clears throat> My process involves chaos, harmony, and the intuitive mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is often lost during the process, but most often, but not always, results in a completed harmonic composition. 嗯，每一位艺术家都有着自己的创作步骤，并不是每一个人的创作都有着同样的顺序。就我个人而言，我的创作步骤有以下这几步：首先，我会构思作品的主题。呃，这些。构思呢是非细节化、非文字化，具有流动性的。接着呢，我会根据现有的材料选择和搭配相应的创作技法。第三步，我会分步骤完成画作的绘制，包括色域层次的叠加、多种符号和图图像的应用，添加和反复擦除这些图像和色域绘画。我通常会不断重复这些操作，最终的画作甚至可能超过二十个层次。我的创作过程中充斥着混沌、和谐与时灵时不灵的直觉，但大多数时候，这种时隐时现的直觉总能指引我完成作品的最终形态。After my concept will change. And morph into a different composition, so I always allow for a fluid process based on a spiritual awareness. 通常我的观念在创作过程中会不断的发生改变，因此我总是保持开放的心态，嗯，保持一种精神的觉醒。Although most of my work is in ceramic painting,、uh, I do work in ceramic sculptural relief design. Here is a set of three compositions that I designed and developed in a recent stay in Turkey. Each of the compositions represents three aspects of our lives: earth, sky, and heaven. I also use symbols of Turkish culture combined with. Universal symbols and images to represent mythology. On the first,、uh, on the first composition, Earth Nature was constructed from the nature surrounding us at the time, and includes grass, flowers, branches, rocks, soil, and leaves, etc. In humanity and sky, this represents the human condition as we walk in the Earth Nature. Although we are part of nature, we often see ourselves as separate from it. We tend to be on foot in nature, with one foot climbing for the heavens. In heavens, myths and symbols represent our unconscious being, which is much larger than our conscious being and knowledge. This represents all that is contained in the universe of culture, ancestors, and sacred beliefs. 
，嗯，尽管我的大多数作品都是词版画，我还创作了一些陶瓷浮雕设计。这一组作品一共三幅，是我在土耳其设计和创作的。这三幅作品分别代表了生命中的三个层次：陆地、天空与天堂。我将土耳其文化中的符号象征与通用的符号象征相结合，创作了这一组作品。陆地，或者说自然这一层次，是由我们周围的岩石和泥土、一草一木、一花一叶构成。人类世界或者天空，象征着我们生存繁衍、自在行走的人间。尽管我们本属于自然的一部分。但我们总将自己视为超脱自然的存在。我们的一只脚脱身于自然和大地，另一只脚又想一步登天，成为接近神灵的存在。天堂这一层次中的神话传说与符号象征，代表了超越了意识世界的无意识领域。它代表着历史文明、祖先生活。和神圣信仰中包含着的集体无意识。I also like to work with the form of vases and hand-thrown altered vessels, but I'm not a maker of these forms. I prefer to work with flat two-dimensional surface. To create, to create three-dimensional compositions, for me this process is the most dynamic because of the initial simplicity of the flat surface. Vases and vessels are interesting for me to paint because they are already three-dimensional, and so I can paint designs to incorporate the shape、uh, into the shape and design. But for me. They are not as dynamic as the two-dimensional flat surface, which offers me the greatest challenge and totally fulfills my creative process. I enjoy painting on the 360-degree continuous image that has no beginning and no end. The vase on the left is of a lotus pond. The vase on the right is of the beautiful spring fields of golden yellow rape seeds in and around Jingdezhen. Lotus ponds are more than just a beautiful visual experience. Symbolically, they represent the rebirth of the human condition and our growth into the beautiful golden flower. 嗯、uh, ，我也喜欢在花瓶或是拉坯成型的器皿表面绘制图画，但我并不擅长制作这些器皿。与三维表面的画作相比，我更喜欢在二维平面上进行创作。对我而言，二维平面的简洁性使创作有更多发挥的空间，创作过程也更具活力。我喜欢在花瓶或器皿的表面绘画，因为它们已经具备了三维的空间感。绘制在表面的图画能与器皿的形状和设计相呼应，但是对我而言，它们不像二维平面一样给我带来更大的挑战，更能体现我作品中的创造性。我绘制的这些图画是360度连续的图画，没有开端，也没有终止。左边的这幅花瓶表面绘制的是一池莲花，右边的花瓶表面绘制的是景德镇以及周边城市，春日原野上金灿灿的油油菜花。莲池不仅令人赏心悦目，在象征意义上。他们还隐喻着人的重生与转生为莲花的精神、精神性成长。I end this presentation with meditation, a poetic painting representing our relationship with nature. In meditation, we sit beside the lake. Beneath the rustle of the willow tree, all around us we become one in nature. I want to thank you for listening to my presentation.、Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask.
，嗯，我想以这幅题为《冥想》的画作结束今晚的讲座。这幅作品很具有诗意，它预示着人与自然的关系。想象一下，将自己置身于画中，我们静坐在湖畔的柳树下，微风吹拂，柳叶沙沙作响，我们仿佛与自然融为了一体。感谢大家收听今天的讲座。如果大家有任何问题，请在提问区提问。嗯，现在进入观众提问环节。如果大家有问题想问艺术家的话，请将问题打在公屏上，我们将随机抽取四到五个问题，请艺术家解答。现在，请大家将问题打在公屏上。Thank you so much for this wonderful speech. Oh, Now it's thank, time for. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. And sorry, Lisa. I will、yes. be.、Um, I'll be a little remiss to, to thank、uh, Tashi Tuan for giving me this opportunity to, to show and to talk about my、uh, pro、uh, process of of creativity, and also want to thank、uh, Ming and、yes. yourself for the the kind of support into、uh, putting on this success this successful、uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. 嗯、uh, ，Phil 还想感谢陶西川为他带来这次讲座的机会。嗯、uh, ，也非常感谢我们的工作人员，嗯、uh, ，为今晚的讲座所做的一切的工作。So we're going to select four to five of the audience's questions for you to answer. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Um, so, the first question we're going to choose is from Ming, <laughs> and so he asked that.、Um, so your works are very colorful, and when you are choosing your colors, do you have any reasons for for that? Do you have any、uh, special reasons for choosing these colors? Um, well, yes, that's that's a good um, um, question. Thank you, Ming.、Uh, there's two answers to this. One is that,、um, as I mentioned earlier in my education,、um, I had studied quite a bit about color theory, the use of colors in compositions,、um, how colors can create mood, can create feeling. Such as if you want a cool feeling of of what do you use a blue? If you want a warm, uh, hot, um, feeling, you use yellows and reds. So, part of part of my selection of the color is based on color theory,、uh, directly to color theory and my understanding of it. Now, I do kind of throw that up in the air a little bit because my colors. Uh, are often intuitive, especially in the abstract color fields. Sorry,、Thank、Lisa,、you. I don't want to get so talking too much ahead of you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you.、Uh, okay. So I will explain the first、uh, reason first.、Um, yeah, and I have another part after.、That. Okay, thank you.、Um, Phil, 对这个问题的解答呢？他说有两个原因。第一个原因呢，是源自于他在嗯艺术学习阶段对于色彩理论的学习，呃、嗯，因为我们知道色彩能够激发人不同的情绪，比如说，呃，如果你想带来一种冷酷的情感的话，那通常会使用蓝色；如果是一种暖、比较暖的情感的话，是会使用黄色或者是红色。因此呢，它的很多色彩的使用是基于色彩理论以及它对这些色彩的理解的。但是有时候呢，它也会将这些理论抛诸脑后，而是直接依靠直觉
Thank you. You can continue. Yeah. So the second part of this uh, answer is that um, I, wor I work in a watercolor technique, which was has been inspired out of my um, study and, and uh, love of um, British watercolor painting. And um, combined with color theory, I, ha I have a limited color uh, base in, in my painting, maybe only four or five different colors. So, but um, with the style of painting I do, if I put a yellow, um, if I put a yellow field of color down first, and then I put a blue over top, where the blue interacts with the yellow underneath, it goes green. And then on the blue, if I put a red over the blue, then the that part will go purple. So by layering multi layers of colors, I can get the greatest variety of colors that I want. But often I, I try to keep themes within a blue scheme with a red um, hint of color or yellows and greens. So that's how um, I approach the work, probably as much intuitive as it is by design. Thank you. Um... 最后说的第二个理由呢蓝色和红色加起来会变成紫色So the second question is from Sting Ho, <laughs> and she said she asked that you also mentioned the three D painting, and would you please explain it a little bit more? Uh, thank you for that question. Three um, D painting is a style of painting I I've been working on and developing. Um, in the last uh, few years, um, we live in a 3D world. Uh, we, the, and in Western art, we use, we understand this and we use concepts such as linear perspective to project onto, to give us a technique to represent what we see in the world to um, a painting or design. But we are so used to what we see around us we don't we just take it for granted we don't actually understand uh, we don't actually consciously always see 3d so what i'm developing through the use of color fields because colors create depth of field for us so a red uh, may be closer to us than a blue which appears further away from us um, for color um, and so on I'm, uh, I'm using color as well as the, the shape and the size of images to project a visual, um, a visual sense of a three-dimensional, multi-dimensional field on a two-dimensional uh, um, space, such as a flat uh, ceramic uh, surface. Thank you. That was very interesting. Um... 开始是由何善颖老师问的这个问题学习了线性透视这种用三维眼光来看待世界的方法 
我们大多数时候甚至把三维当做一种理所应当的事情，但是这并不是我们主观意识到的世界的样子。因此呢，我会选用颜色，不同的颜色来制造出，呃，三维的感觉。比如说红色，感觉上离我们更近；而蓝色，感觉上离我们更远。我会用颜色的。不同颜色的形状和不同的形状和大小，在二维的平面上产生近似三维空间的感，呃，三维空间的远近感。Uh, thank you, Lisa. If I may add also, yes,、uh, the the painting the painting on screen meditation is is an example of of how I use different techniques and color to create a three dimensional view. Now you may look at this and look at it and say it's confusing because it's it's just a flat composition. But by for me to put in the willow over the figure in black and dark color sets that forward as a like a curtain. So it puts pulls that forward for your eye. And then I am asking you to look through the veil of the willow to see. The seated figure behind, and as you as you see this, then the separation of the planes, the separate separation into three dimensional、um, view, will then become a, a greater sense for us. It is、um, I do understand it's a way of training our eyes to see to see something which we are fully aware of, but we are just basically.、Um, Understanding it is just a natural phenomenon, but to do it in painting is to train the eye to see a little bit、uh, different than what we do outside. Thank you. Um, Phil, 还补充到呢，在他的画作这最后的这一幅画作《冥想》当中，就很好的体现了他是如何利用颜色和不同的绘画手法来产生三维立体感的。嗯，这虽然是一幅二维平面的画作。但是呢，他通过将柳叶和人影的重叠，产生了一种呃远近的空间感。因为柳叶产生的呃类似于屏障的感觉，让人想要透过去看到柳叶背后的人影。这种空间上的分离会产生呃三维的空间感，因为我们在肉眼，我们使用肉眼感知世界的时候。是很理所当然的，但是我们需要在绘画绘画的时候训练，呃，我们的肉眼以一种不同的感知方式，嗯、呃，感觉到这是一幅三维的画作。So the third question is from Yang Lei and. She asked that, "Do you think the、uh, unconscious is logic logical?"、Uh, no.、Uh, in my understanding and my feeling, in my approach, and thank you for this question. It is a deeper question and process for me that I've been、uh, working on,、um, and, and it comes a lot through psychology.、Uh, Carl Jung. Who is, a, who is a wonderful psychologist deals with the, the use of images and and the understanding of, of our unconscious.、Um, by most estimates, our conscious mind. There are three aspects: is the conscious mind, the subconscious, and the unconscious.、Um, it is felt, and I and I believe that the conscious mind, what we see around us, what we touch, what we can see, is only ten percent of the actual. Um, condition of our mind. Eighty、um, percent is subconscious and unconscious. So the unconscious is not logical. If we try to make logic out of out of it, we would be a rather a, a bit in despair. But if we trust the unconscious and understand that the unconscious is a fundamental part of who we are, our personality is not driven by our conscious mind. Our personality and character is. Through our unconscious activity, which 
which deals with all aspects of, of ancestral heritage, uh, culture, the myths that we take for granted are all embodied and fluid like a cloud in our mind. It, it, it bubbles, it, it, it has activity, and it is, is, it is such a vital uh, part of who we are uh, as individual and human beings. Thank Sorry you. for that long one, Lisa. Is that okay? It's okay, but I didn't hear. It. Did you say that the conscious mind is just a ten percent or twenty percent? Yet ten, twenty percent. Don't know exactly, but they do feel that the conscious mind is the logical part of, yes. of our mind. The uh, unconscious mind has no logic. Okay. There, there is no logical attribution to it. But if you understand it and recognize that it is part of who we are, there is an aspect of touching. So mm -hmm. that's when I talk about spirit. The spirit is going, is like putting a hand through, um, uh, uh, through a open window. Uh, we push it through and then we can grasp what is, what is in the unconscious. That's why uh, by using images, symbols and myths in my work, it's creating a, a path into the unconscious. Thank you. Uh, because I was counting 10% plus 80%, that, that's not 100%. So that's why I want to ask. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, um, say it would be, say, 10% for the conscious mind. Yes. Maybe 20% for the subconscious. Okay. And 70% for the unconscious. Okay. And I know it's how... It's a we we try to logically understand this in, yeah. in numbers and figures, um, but that's probably the best way that I can suggest that that how our mind is is uh, how we think and how our mind is active. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, um, 刚才的这个问题是来自于杨磊的，他的问题是无意识是有逻辑的吗？嗯，所有的回答是不，他认为是不是的，呃，因为这其实是一个非常哲学的问题。嗯，卡尔·荣格他对于这个问题做了很多的探讨。呃，因为我们的意识思想是有三，是分为三种的：意识、潜意识与无意识。呃，意识呢是指只是我们感知的。世界，它只占了百分之十，而潜意识可能占了百分之二十，无意识占到了大概百分之七十。当然，这个数字呢，也是一个我们想象出来的数字。嗯、呃，无意识它是没有逻辑的。嗯、呃，如果我们想要用无意识来解释一些东西，那你可能会陷入绝望。但是，潜意识与无意识当中，嗯、呃，包含了我们的文化遗产、神话传说。以及很多的呃集体潜意识，这些部分才是决定我们性格与人格的关键。而意识呢，是逻辑的。这也是为什么我会提出精神、精神灵魂这个重要的观点，因为它就好像是从窗从窗口中伸出去的一个手，去探出、探求外界的世界。嗯、呃。我希望通过我的画作，让人从意识探知到无意识的领域。Uh, thank you, Lisa. And I would like to add one other thing, if you don't mind. Yes. No, I don't mind. Um, okay. Um, in regards to that question, um, dreams. Dreams are a wonderful representation of the unconscious. Um, how do we logically understand our dreams? There is no logic most of the time behind our dreams, but they are so vital and important to understand certain aspects of who we are and what we're doing either on a, um, a daily basis or a representation of the true effect of how we see our lives. So dreams to me are uh, important uh, reflections and mirrors of the unconscious. Um, as you may already tell, I, um, I am a, a, a great reader and um, believer of the unconscious and conscious relationship. Most of my paintings are, unconscious, are consciously directed, but they are mirrors of the unconscious, of dreamscapes. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Sorry for that long one. 
It's okay. Um. Uh, Phil 还补充回答道。嗯、呃，我们的梦境也是无意识的一种体现。我们是没有办法用逻辑来理解梦境的。但是呢，它体现了我们的日常生活以及我们对世界的理解。嗯、呃，我非常喜欢阅读关于嗯、呃、意识与无意识的书籍，我也非常喜欢将它们体现在我的作品当中。嗯、呃，在我的作品当中呢，我是有意识的去营造一种呃让人感觉是无意识的创作。So, the fourth question would be from Zhao Wei, Zhao Wei Wei, and he said that long time no see, Phil.、Um, I think that all those paintings exist in artists' subconscious. And would you talk about your point of view? Thank you. Um. Thank you,、uh, and, and、uh, great to hear from you again. I miss you all in、uh, China. Look forward to、uh, getting back uh, shortly. Um, regarding that question,、um, there is the element that the the, the work that I do. I, I sometimes I, I haven't titled my work here in 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 the the way that sometimes I do. I, I often refer to my paintings as dreamscapes. You know, such as landscape, we see landscape, we see a vision of mountains. A seascape, we see visions of sea. But、um, my work, I I tend to refer to it to them as dreamscapes. That is, they are part of the conscious and unconscious. You know, this painting that you see on there, it doesn't make it. It doesn't have a lot of logical conscious、uh, state about it. So it is from it is partial dream. It is partial intu intuition, based on experience that I have through the, the conscious mind. It is how I perceive how we deal with nature. So it the、um, I don't want to put it into a logical concept. I want the work to kind of spill for us to pursue the work through visions to、uh, to pursue it through. A contact with our with our unconscious, and and that's not easy if we're not if we're not if we don't train ourselves to understand the unconscious and conscious, we are constantly trapped within the conscious mind within the conscious thought, and、uh, for me I feel that is so limiting to what the truth of, of what the about myself and about our, how I see the world. Thank you, um, G. 不，这个问题，第四个问题是来自于赵伟伟。嗯、呃，他的问题是：我认为绘画作品都存在于艺术家的潜意识，可否请您谈谈您的观点？嗯、呃，对此 ，Phil 的回答是：嗯、呃，呃，非常感谢您的问题，我非常呃，因为。这位观众打了一个招呼，好久没见了，所以，呃 p h i l 有说他非常想回到中国，想要，嗯、呃，非常想念大家。嗯，他说他很少会将自己的作品以特定的标题来命名，他将他自己的作品称为 dreamscape， 嗯、呃，就是类似于梦境中的景观，因为。我们经常会提到各种山海的景观，而在他看来，梦境分为无意识和无意，包含着意识和无意识，也像是一种呃绝美的景观。而在他的嗯、呃、作品当中呢，他会意使用到意识与直觉，还有无意识，嗯、呃，因此更像是一种自然的嗯、呃、直觉上的直觉的挥洒。但是呢，这种意识与无意识，运用意识与无意识进行创作的过程是需要训练的。因为如果我们不去有意识的，呃，让自己知道有意识和无意识的话，那么我们就会被意识所困。因为意识是非常狭隘的，说的有点像绕口令了。So the you, last question would be from Spoony, <laughs> and this audience asked that、um, 
there's a lot of links between Chinese painting and Chinese traditional music, and your your paintings are very poetic. And do you think in your creative process you are affected or influenced by any kinds of music? Um, hi, Spoonie. Thank you very much for that question. Um, very much so. Uh, thank you for the kind description of my work, um, as poetic as music, because that that is really one of the senses I I approach my work. Um, the relationship, our, our relationship as artists to between our paintings and poetry and music, uh, between different um, influences, is just minimum degrees of separation. Um, I think that greatly influence. I'm greatly influenced by music. I'm I travel. We travel a lot to uh, to China uh, to the effect of different cultural. Um, uh, musics. Um, the I traveled. To, I traveled to Europe. Uh, all of these cultural effects uh, affect the way I see, uh, as an artist, how I see uh, the world around me. And music inspires me. Poet poetry inspires me. Um, landscapes is, uh, uh, inspire me. So all of these influences. You know, I try not to separate them. Uh, as we talked before, as a conscious sort of constructive way, um, I do allow a freedom of intuitive expression. I want that to come out. I want to touch that within my work. And in order to do that, I have to go beyond my conscious thought. Um, it's something that I've done for many years now, so it's it's more of a natural process for me. Um, as I had. Uh, earlier mentioned in the process of in my process of creativity, I do a layer a, a law of chaos and loss to lose the composition, to to enable my mind to go in beyond my conscious idea, and that's why I surround myself with with music, uh, with uh, incense for smell. All all these senses create a um, a, a path. They create a um, an opportunity to to sort of separate my mind and to search into the unconscious and subconscious elements of my creative process. Thank you, Lisa. Sorry about another long one. It's okay. That's very interesting explanation. Um, 刚才的这个问题呢，来自于勺子。嗯，他说的是中国画的很多意境与中国的传统音乐有连结，比如古琴和箫等乐器演奏的乐曲。您的绘画非常有诗意，在创作过程中是否受到某种特别类型的音乐的影响呢？嗯，对此 f h i l 的回答是：嗯，非常感谢您将我的。嗯，作品评价为是具有诗意和有音乐性的，这也是我在创作过程中想要达成的目的。嗯，当然，我想要说的是，确实，艺术家与音乐、诗歌颇有渊源。其实，不只是音乐、诗歌，还有各种旅行、见闻、文化，都对我的创作很有影响。呃，我会去中国和欧洲旅行，嗯、呃，在这些地这些地方的自然风貌和文化，还有包括音乐和诗歌，都非常大的、极大程度的启发了我的创作。但是呢，我想说的是，我不是受某一种特别类型的音乐的影响，而是，呃，这些东西是这些音乐、诗歌。旅呃文化都是无法分割的，是我创作中无法分割的一部分。嗯，他们是结合起来对我产生影响的。嗯，通常我依依靠了直觉进行创作。嗯，这个过程呢是超越了意识，因为我经过多年的训练，达到了一种非常自然的依靠意识和无意识的。创作，当然我有时候也会陷入混乱，我会。
找不到作品的主题，而这个时候呢，我会用音乐环绕自己，或者是焚香，来使自己的分，嗯、呃，来使自己的思想分离，达到一种无意识的境界。Um. So that will be all. <laughs> 感谢大家参与今晚的线上讲座，也非常感谢 Philip Reed 为我们带来的精彩内容。下周三晚八点，我们还将邀请土耳其艺术家 Zara j o b a n l 讲述他的艺术之旅。请大家持续关注陶西川国际教育平台，我们还将推出更多线上课程与活动。Thank you, Philip. For sharing your wonderful works and stories with us,、um, that was really impressive. Thanks everybody for well, your thank you. attention. Thanks for coming, and I hope you all enjoyed our lecture today. And we will have another online lecture held by Zara Chubanla, and hope to see you next week. Bye. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye.